I have a proclamation to present, and I'd like to call up uh, Denise Whitstock from Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Sheboygan County, Krista Singh from Boys and Girls Clubs, and uh, Sharp Pakniak from Horizon for Girls is joining us remotely. A proclamation, whereas January is National Mentoring Month, celebrating the benefits of youth mentoring across the country and locally, we recognize Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Sheboygan County, the Boys and Girls Clubs of Sheboygan County, and Horizon for Girls and other organizations for their youth mentoring efforts. And whereas every day in Sheboygan and communities across the country, caring adults volunteer their time with mentoring programs to concrete, create consistent supportive relationships with young people. At its most basic level, mentoring is successful in real life because it guarantees that young people have an adult to turn to and that they have a guiding hand to help them in dealing with day-to-day -day challenges. At more a complex level, there's a powerful mentoring effect that ultimately uh, makes our communities stronger. And whereas quality mentoring programs are proven to build relationships that help to improve school attendance, academic achievement, and to promote responsible decision-making, and also provide skills to better navigate relationships at school, socially, and at home. And whereas a report by Mentor, the National Mentoring Partnership, found that young adults who were at risk for not completing high school but had a mentor were 55% more likely to be enrolled in college than those who did not have a mentor, 81% more likely to report participating regularly in sports or extracurricular activities, and more than twice as likely to say that they held a leadership position in a club or sports team, and 78% more likely to volunteer regularly in their communities. Whereas mentoring programs have shown to be effective in combating school violence, discipline problems, substance abuse, and incarceration and truancy, now therefore I, Mike Vandersteen, Mayor of the City of Sheboygan, do hereby declare January of 2021 National Mentoring Month in Sheboygan and call upon public officials, businesses, and community leaders and educators and encourage all residents of Sheboygan to observe this month with appropriate ceremonies, activities, and programs in order to recognize the men and women who serve as staff and volunteers at local mentoring programs and who help young people find inner strength to reach their full potential. And uh, with a great deal of pride, I'm presenting these proclamations to both of these organizations. And we'll give to Shire Stewart later, but I'd like to ask them to come up and tell us just a little bit about their program and what's happening in their mentoring program, especially how they're responding to COVID. Denise? Could thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Vandersteen and everyone. Um, for this honor, we're very excited to celebrate National Mentoring Month. I thought I'd take just a few brief moments to share a little bit about Big Brothers Big Sisters. Um, I think everyone probably knows this, the traditional model of what we do, which is the concept of pairing an at-risk, quote-unquote, youth with a caring adult. Um, but what some people don't realize is that for over 100 years, this organization has been so, really fulfilling that sole mission in over 15 countries in the world and every 50 state here in the United States. Um, Sheboygan County is the oldest in the state of Wisconsin, and we've served over 22,000 youth in our time here since 1965. And I wanted to respond to your comment about how we've transitioned during COVID just a little bit. Um, we're in the human relationship business, and so we took a pause to move our staff to work remotely. But after that, we didn't really have much of a pause. We inserted some technology into our programs, but otherwise we've been keeping uh, bigs and littles and families closer than ever uh, because this is a time of crisis for families that are facing a lot of struggles during normal times. And we've continued to make matches. We've continued to transition programs in our schools to make sure that kids are staying connected and safe, um, having that technology to reach out and uh, feel supported when they've lost their single social, often single social system, which is their school. Um, and one of the things that we're really excited about uh, is some of the firsts that we've experienced this year. Um, we have officially, th in, in this council, we've uh, experienced our first official contract of partnership of, I don't know, are we dating now? Is that what we say? Or no? <laughs> uh, between the Sheboygan Police Department and Big Brothers Big Sisters to officially bring an, a, a formal program of Bigs with Badges to the community. 
Um, Chief Domagowski has been wonderful in helping spearhead that initiative and spreading it throughout the county to engage law enforcement with uh, youth that uh, potentially might have a preconceived notion about what law enforcement is or isn't in our community. Uh, we're excited to be looking at a five-year pilot starting this fall with the Sheboygan Area School District with technology enhanced mentoring and, and the high school setting, focusing on academic and career preparedness. And um, if there's one thing we've learned in the last 12 months, it's that human connection is really vital for kids particularly. Our professional degreed staff work with families sometimes up to 13 years. And so we get to know families and kids very, very well. Um, and we have become a very trusted partner for over 800 people in this community. We've helped bigs that never thought they would have to navigate the social sector and apply for food, uh, food services. We've helped families navigate how to pay for a family member's burial expense uh, because they were visiting from another country. And we've had kids five and six year old kids build relationships with really cool adults on a tablet for the first time ever. So we've had some really cool experiences and it's really kept our staff moving forward and knowing that even when our days are very, very long, the work that we're doing is worthwhile. So for those of you in the room that have participated with us and shared your time, we appreciate it. Um, Captain Cobb, Todd, an amazing chef, if you didn't know that, Administrator Wolf, um, Chad, Chief, thank you, and we're excited to be here. Thank you very much. Uh, Christina from Boys and Girls Club. All right, we good on the sound? Uh, so I'm Christina Singh. I lead the Boys and Girls Clubs here in Sheboygan County. And uh, the Boys and Girls Clubs provides kids ages 6 to 18 with equitable opportunities, safe spaces, and vital resources. This past year, that looked a little bit like delivering meals and grocery store gift cards to address food insecurity. It looked like developing virtual programming options, uh, getting thousands of activity kits out to kids who needed them, um, expanding our teen program hours, and also opening a program for 10 hours a day when school switched to virtual learning so that we could support kids who didn't have internet access or a positive home environment. On top of innovating our services, we also opened a new location at Jefferson Elementary for before and after school programming. And every step of the way, we prioritize the physical and emotional safety of our youth. So regardless of the circumstances, our club delivers outcome-based uh, programming in three uh, core areas, and that's academic success, healthy lifestyles, and good character and citizenship. For every kid, the formula for success looks a little bit different, and that's why our staff are trained to build positive mentoring relationships with the kids. It's an important ingredient for everything we do, and it really enables kids to uh, improve their outcomes in our three core program areas. So uh, Mayor Vandersteen mentioned some statistics about kids being 55% uh, more likely uh, to enroll in college if they regularly meet with a mentor, 78% uh, more likely to regularly volunteer, and 130% more likely to uh, pursue leadership type positions um, if, if, they're, if they have a mentor. So uh, statistics and numbers aside, um, our staff are sometimes the only uh, positive adult relationship that, uh, that youth have. And so they're often the first to notice abuse or neglect, um, the first to hear about a big problem or challenge at home, um, the first to celebrate uh, a teen's new job. Um, so we, we form those relationships with our youth um, in order to help them succeed, and it's really uh, at the core of what Boys and Girls Club programming is all about. Um, so for, uh, for all you mentors out there, uh, you are champions of youth, 
And, and I thank you. I'm grateful um, to Mayor Vandersteen and to all of those who support programs like ours um, and all of those who uh, either work in a mentoring capacity or volunteer uh, to men mentor youth. So thank you so much. Thank you very much, Christina. Uh, Sharp Pakniak, are you there? Well, we also thank uh, all the work that uh, Shar does with Horizon for Girls. So let's give these girls a big hand for all the efforts that they put forth in their organization. And we also remember all their boards that helped them to, to manage things and then all the volunteers who volunteer in the community. So thank you very much.